Hello, now we will see that how many days we should give to each subject in our uh, PG preparation. Now let's first see that how are we going to calculate uh, how many days uh, we should give to each subject. In uh, my technique we are doing only question bank. So let's go to question bank of Mero. Now let's assume that we are doing physiology subject. Then first take the calculator and ca and calculate how many total number of questions are there uh, in the physio. So there are 1015 questions in the physio. So how many questions can we do in one day? Uh, my speed limit was like uh, in one day I could uh, solve 300 questions and read all the explanation of them. So um, uh, how many days we, do we will be required to uh, finish the physio subject? So we will require uh, approximate 3.3 .3 days. Uh, so let's assume that 4 days. So we should give 4 days to physio subject. Likewise, I have made this uh, table for you. If you do not have uh, time to calculate a number of questions in, in, in each subject. So uh, assuming that uh, in one day we can solve 300 questions. I have calculated the approximate days that we should give to each subject. Um, like for anatomy. Uh, three, approximate 3.7 uh, like so 4 days likewise uh, if we if we calculate for all subjects then total there are uh, we will be able to finish the whole syllabus in 60 days that is in 2 months and uh, it's not like that uh, we should finish the physio subject in 4 days only we can adjust the days like for example uh, in radio there are more number of questions uh, more than 300 so it may require more than one day but uh, if we see in anesthesiology uh, we can adjust some questions of radio radio in the day of anesthesia uh, if you cannot solve 300 questions in one day but you can solve only 200 questions in one day then calculate accordingly how many days you will require for each subject because I have given the total no number of uh, questions uh, in the respective subject uh, you can copy uh, that from here you can pause the video and write down these total number of questions according to the subject The total number of questions are approximately 18,000. So if you could solve uh, 200 questions uh, each day, then you could finish the whole syllabus in, in 90 days, that is 3 months. I also told you in my technique that uh, before sleeping, uh, we should decide uh, which, how many modules we are going to do for the next day. So how do we calculate it? Mm, let's uh, take the example of pathology. Now uh, we, are, we are doing the next day uh, total number of 300 questions. So how many modules uh, will fit there? So we are literally gonna calculate uh, that much number of questions using a calculator. Now uh, calculating uh, up to the module number 14 it becomes total number of 306 questions so we will uh, solve the 14 modules likewise uh, you should decide every day that how many modules you are gonna solve for the next day and uh, always uh, always keep the modules like uh, the number of questions will become more than the 300 the modules will not give exact number of like 300 number of questions uh, it may be less than 300 or more than 300 so we will keep our target always uh, such that uh, the modules will contain more than 300 number of questions. Many of you people ask me to make the videos in English because they could not understand Hindi. Hindi. So I tried uh, to make the video in English. Uh, let's see if it is good or not. Uh, I am not very good at English uh, so I just tried. So, see you in the next video.